I recently went on vacation to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, a string of barrier islands a couple hundred miles long in the Atlantic Ocean. While playing on the beach and looking out to sea, I wondered something that many of you may have wondered. How far out to sea can I actually see while standing on the shore? Sometimes it seems so far, but other times when small boats drive out they seem to disappear quite quickly. So maybe I can't see that far. Or maybe that boat was just pulled under by a kraken. Well, let's do some math and see how far out to sea we can see, and how much farther I can see than my wife, who's much shorter than me. And by the end, we'll see that the Earth really isn't that big. To start, let's draw a diagram and make some simplifying assumptions. Let's assume the Earth is a perfect sphere, and that my feet are at the level of the ocean, an ocean that fits perfectly under the spherical shape. No fun waves to play in on this boring diagram. Let's picture me standing on the Earth. Now even though I said we will find the Earth isn't that big, it is much bigger than I am, so I'll draw myself much bigger than I really am for the sake of the diagram. As I look out to the sea as far as I can, my line of sight hits the Earth at this point. The line of sight is what is called a tangent line to the circle. This segment is the distance I can see out to sea. How can we find this distance? Well, let's start by using some things we know about the geometry of the situation. One of the theorems many students are taught in geometry is that a radius of a circle intersects a tangent line at 90 degrees. So this radius segment and this segment intersect at 90 degrees. Well, connecting these two points gets us a right triangle, and we have another powerful theorem about the side lengths of a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem. We can find these two distances without using the Pythagorean theorem. I looked up the radius of the Earth and found it's about 6,378.1 kilometers. So that is this leg of the triangle, and the length of the hypotenuse is the radius of the Earth plus the height of my eyes, which are about 1.8 meters high. Using the Pythagorean theorem and being careful to convert my eye height to kilometers gets us a value of about 4.8 kilometers, or just under three miles. That really isn't very far. Still, it isn't something I could swim without drowning, but I think many people would guess the line of sight is farther. Now, how about my wife? She's much shorter than I am, almost by a foot, so her eyes are maybe 26 centimeters lower than mine. Changing the eye height in our expression shows that my wife can only see about 4.43 kilometers, so I have more than a third of a kilometer more of ocean in my view. It is a good thing I hadn't done the math before our vacation. I don't think it would have gone over well to tell my wife I had an 8.35% better view of the ocean than she does. Well, it's actually higher than that. We're basically looking at a semicircle of the ocean, and the area of the ocean I can see is 17.4% larger than the area she can see. So, I better stop before someone tells my wife. Now, you may not have realized it, but we've just learned that the Earth really isn't that big. If two people of average height were more than 10 kilometers apart on a smooth spherical Earth, they wouldn't be able to see each other at all. But 10 kilometers, or 6 miles, isn't really that far. In the valley where I live, we have a large lake called Utah Lake. It's more than six miles across in most places, and much more than that in length. So I don't have to go to the ocean. If my wife and I are walking around the shore of Utah Lake on opposite sides, then we would rarely be able to see each other, because we would each be dipped under the other's horizon. So see, the Earth isn't really that big, because you don't have to go very far from someone before they can be lost over the horizon. If I were to ask you how far out into the ocean you could see when staring at the horizon, would you have guessed around five kilometers or three miles? My hunch is most people would have guessed that they could see much further. How big would our planet need to be so that we could see much further? Say, maybe 10 kilometers or about six miles. How big would the Earth be then? This is pretty easy mathematically. We just use our same Pythagorean equation as before, only now we have different knowns and different unknowns. We know that this leg is 10 kilometers and instead we want to know the length of this leg, which is the radius of the Earth, and we will label x. That means our hypotenuse is x plus 0 0.0018, and solving for x gives us a radius of almost 28,000 kilometers. Just in doubling our line of sight, our Earth just became the size of Uranus, more than 63 times the volume of Earth. What if we only added one more kilometer? So instead of five kilometers, it was six? Then our radius increases from 6,378 to about 10,000 kilometers all from just one added kilometer of sight. This got me wondering about more space-related questions. If you can see 10 kilometers on Uranus, how far is the line of sight on the sun? Granted, your eyeballs don't melt out of their sockets first, of course. Doing some quick math 
gives us just over 50 kilometers, or about 31 miles. That's about the width of the Great Salt Lake here in Utah, or the distance between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Tell us in the comments what landmarks near you are about the same distance. So now we know why these boats disappear so fast over the horizon. It's not the Kraken. Our Earth just really isn't that big. Or maybe we're relatively small compared to Earth. Just don't tell my wife that. She doesn't like short jokes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share our videos. Be sure to follow Math the World on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you so much for your support.